Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. I think that's probably enough motor storm for, uh, for one day. So, um, anyway, full motor storm online coming to a PlayStation 3 near you very shortly, directly from home. So, as I said, it's not just the multiplayer games that can be launched directly from home, but any game that you have on disk or indeed on your hard drive allows you to go uh, straight into it. And when you have finished your game, you simply quit from the game and it will take you straight back into home where you left off, delivering on our promise of a fully integrated service. With the open platform that is PlayStation Home and the PlayStation Network, you can imagine the creative possibilities of this feature, with publishers creating their own unique lounges to their games so people who are fans of a specific title can meet, talk, and jump right into the action, wherever they are within the home service. It's not just limited to your personal apartment. So, there you have it, a quick update on PlayStation Home that demonstrates the direction we're heading as we continually evolve this service for an open beta for consumers coming this fall. And I'll toss things back to Jack to take us on into PlayStation 3. Thanks, Phil. So, let me give you an update on PS3. We have two basic goals for PlayStation 3 here this year in North America. The first is to broaden the install base. And the second is to deliver a very wide selection of game services to consumers that offer something for everyone and to make sure that content takes full advantage of the advanced features found in the box, such as cell, Blu-ray disc, the internal hard drive, online capabilities, and the six-axis. We took a big step towards meeting that first goal on Monday when we unveiled some new hardware news. We announced we'll be launching the new PS3 model this August, designed specifically for the online gaming and entertainment enthusiasts, and it will feature an 80 gigabyte hard drive for storing a ton of downloadable content, and it also comes packed in with that great online enabled game you just saw Phil playing, MotorStorm. The new 80 gigabyte model will be priced at $599, available here in North America in August. With this news, we also announced on Monday that the current PS3, the 60 gigabyte, is now priced at $499. And we're very pleased to offer this fully functioning PS3 for $100 below the original launch price. This new price went into effect on Monday, and since then, sales of the 60 gigabyte PS3 have doubled at our top five retailers. In fact, as you know, one retailer was so excited they might have slipped their ad a little bit before our announcement. We feel strongly that the new 80 gigabyte model and the new price on the 60 gigabyte model will draw new consumers to PlayStation and will help migrate those millions of PS2 users into the next generation of gaming. And this is the kind of momentum that will lead us up to shipments of 11 million units on the PS3 this year worldwide. These new PS3 owners will be experiencing the very best in high definition next generation gaming technologies, including Blu-ray Disc. You know, there was a lot of speculation on our decision to include Blu-ray in the PS3. And we never wavered in our belief that Blu-ray was absolutely the way to go uh, when we were talking about the benefits of Blu-ray for some time now, including the massive capability or cap capacity that allows games like Lair to come in at 25 gigs of data, dwarfing the standard 9 gigs found on DVD. And today, the message is more than getting through to consumers. PlayStation 3's success has contributed contributed greatly to Blu-ray success, to the tune of two-to-one sales margin over HD DVD. Recent announcements from major retailers like Blockbuster, who announced that they were dropping the HD DVD format in favor of Blu-ray in the great majority of their stores, reaffirms what we already knew, that Blu-ray was the gaming storage vehicle of the future, and including it in the PlayStation 3 will help make this system future-proof. So I've demonstrated a few ways we're tackling our first goal of growing the install base, our second goal is to provide those new machines with some exceptional games. You've probably already heard Kaz quoted as saying that you can expect over 200 Blu-ray disc-based games this year worldwide for PlayStation 3, coupled with over 180 games for the PlayStation Network. And of those, for North America, we're looking at more than 120 Blu-ray disc games, 15 of those being exclusives coming from our own worldwide studios alone. 
That's an amazing number for a first party studio and clearly defines our role in providing unique gaming experiences which showcase the power of the PlayStation 3 and are only available on our platform. Well, let's start with our partners' games first. Support from game publishers is nothing short of outstanding. We're working very hard to provide developers with the tools they need to really take advantage of the technology found in PS3, and we're offering one-on-one -on -one attention to those uh, publishers to make sure they're getting the most out of their game development. Today, we want to demonstrate the, few, the fruits of our labor. We'll also discuss how we're growing our publisher family, which takes me into a very exciting announcement. We're very pleased to announce that pioneering online game developer NCSoft will be joining the PlayStation camp. You probably know NCSoft best for their work on the hugely successful Lineage, City of Heroes, and Guild Wars, all massively multiplayer online games with broad consumer appeal. Very soon, they'll be bringing that expertise to the PlayStation brand exclusively. Under the agreement, NCSoft's talented developers will be creating online games for our platforms accessible through the PlayStation Network that will be found nowhere else. Only, on PlayStation Network can, only the PlayStation Network can support the type of gameplay NCSoft has become famous for, and we look forward to seeing what kind of exclusive content based on current intellectual properties and new IPs they can come up with. I think this is great news for PlayStation fans, and it really demonstrates the kind of very high-level support we're seeing from our platforms, for our platforms. From a new addition to the family to a lifelong member, I'd like to now discuss Ubisoft, a very early supporter of the PS3 with its Tom Clancy series. This fall, they'll be bringing a new game franchise to the system, which is already receiving an incredible amount of buzz in the industry. The game is called Hayes. And if you want to play it this holiday, you'll only be able to do that exclusively on PlayStation 3. We're very pleased to give our valued consumers the chance to experience it first in all its high-definition glory. Let's take a look. The name is Shane Carpenter. As one of Mantle's most elite soldiers, I was trained to handle anything, built to fight the good fight. That's what I thought until the day I broke away from Mantle. Their lies, their nectar. That day, I changed sides. Today I am reborn. Now it's time to set things right. That looks great. And it's uh, very exciting to have Hayes as a PS3 exclusive. Thank you, Ubisoft. Next up is something for real veterans of the gaming industry. When they first launched this franchise several years ago, it took the industry by storm. So much so that the engine for this game became the de facto standard in delivering rich 3D gameplay at lightning speeds. The company we're talking about is Epic. And the game is unreal. 
in every sense of the word. We're excited to announce today that Sony Computer Entertainment has signed a multi-stage deal with Midway and Epic. The first part of this agreement is already underway and involves the full optimization of the Unreal Engine for PS3 development. We're working very closely with Epic to optimize the Unreal Engine to take full advantage of the PS3 technology to assist developers in using this engine to speed game creation and maximize performance. This immediately affects scores of developers using the Unreal Engine to create nearly 100 games currently in the works, with many more to come. Naturally, Epic is one of those developers, and we're very pleased to announce Epic's Unreal Tournament 3 is confirmed as a PlayStation 3 exclusive this year. Along with the fast-paced action, this game introduces an industry first, the ability for gamers to bring user-created content or mods from the PC version to the PS3 thanks to the PlayStation Network. This expands the experience for consumers by allowing them to truly become part of the game, thus delivering the gameplay and community aspects that are the hallmark of the Unreal Tournament franchise. Let's take a look. So those are just three companies making news and really pushing the boundaries of game creation, but there are certainly more. Take a look at these other exclusive hardware driving games coming soon for third parties to PS3. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. Somebody's tanking stuck, have a click north of here. We got a hustle, let's go. Assassin's Creed. God knows your lonely souls. Dead men. Just keep it cool. Okay, listen. I repel down first. Plant the bomb on the window. <laughs> 